Right guys, so we're checking in another set of target darts and it is the Phil the Power Taylor 16 Tower World Champion. These are the Generation 8 edition that's came out last year. So very curious to see how these are. I'm keen to hold these. Uh, so I managed to win these in a raffle from Scottish Lad Does Darts. So let's check out the packaging, check out the darts and have a few throws at the board. Okay, having a look at the packaging, you can see these are 95% tungsten. There's a black and grey theme to this. They've got a picture of the man just here in the middle. And it's got the Powery's nickname, Pinty Signature here. You've got your Target Darts logo. Just move that around so you can actually see it. These are 24 gram steel tip. And it's the Power 5 generation. And these are Gen 8s. You've got a little slip here that you can open it up so you can actually see a closer look image of the barrels the flights and the points and obviously what you get inside so what we'll do is look at the back again these come in 22 grams 24 grams 26 grams put your swiss point key and your swiss points what you get in the box is three power 95 g8 95 percent barrels three power g8 shafts three pro ultra flights three swiss diamond pro black 26 mil points and one swiss point tool also a picture of your flight and you got a lighting guarantee with the barrels as well which i'm loving so let's open this up as always with target darts you get the foam packaging with black with this one just to match the theme of the barrels you've got your darts fully set up you've got your swiss point key and always you get this flyer and let you know what the match weight for the barrels are and these are bang on 24 grams so let's have a closer look at the barrel itself so on a closer look at the dart itself you can see it's got a black 26 mil swiss point and it's got this large fat nose section here with vertical cuts then goes into this ring grip section here which has been remachined so you get the silver ring cut in this section here they call this the cnc milling it's also got this sandblast texture on this as well to give you that extra grip you have then you've got your g8 small stems and your vapor flights and yes those are absolutely tiny so the length of this is 41 millimeters in the width and i assume it'd be this fat section here is 7.65 millimeters okay so we've got darts in hand i just can't get over the size of these flights but anyway uh, grip level on this, but it's been remachined with that silver ring cut. Uh, I say that's the grippiest part of these darts. Um, then you also got that CNC milling cut at the back there. Um, I, I give that a two and a half, not quite a three, but that PVD coating on it, it gives it that a little bit more uh, texture and grip to it. But <laughs> we'll see how we get on throwing me tiny flights. Um, I don't know my hopes. <laughs> Game on. Oof. There we go, 43. Actually throwing not that bad, but um, let's see how well we can get on. I may switch up to bigger flights. That's sixty. Yep, sixty. I feel like a giant hood in a, a hobbit's city dark. There we go. So I want double check. One hundred and forty. Who knew I could throw? Ah, there we go. That's oh, just right in the corner, isn't it? Ninety-five. Right. What I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to change the flights and see how we get on then. Yep. 
Okay, so we've got the slightly larger flights, and then we'll just show you the difference, like... Oh, my little baby! And you've got the standard size flights, thanks to Kieran, he knew, so he gave me a set of these as well with the darts. Right, so, let's see how we get on with these. Oh, 45! Maybe we played better with the smaller ones. But um, yeah, it still feels nice as well in the hands. Oh, come here, look. 100. Eighty-five. I'll take that. Right, let's do a little summary. Okay, so Tiger Darts, Phil Taylor, 16 time world champion, the power. These are the Gen 8, 24 gram steel tip. Uh, not a bad set of darts. I actually thought I was going to have issues with these baby flights. Actually, if you look in my hand, it looks like children's darts. Uh, just because they're sexy and I thought I'm going to be able to throw these, especially with those baby flights. But I did alright. I thought I did alright. To me a little while get you a step, but I actually did all right, and uh, yeah, nice balance to these. They are a short dart, so if you like a short dart, uh, maybe consider it. Good grip to these. If you hold onto this um, tapered nose section, I know it's got vertical cuts in it, but you can't really feel the vertical cuts because that PVD coating kind of takes that sharp cut away from it. But apart from that, if you're holding this middle section and the rear section, that CNC milling cut um, you, you've got grip right along that so it's fine uh, from I'd say middle and rear grippers if you hold again front grippers if you're holding that might have a little bit of an issue with holding that section but all in all it's a not bad set of darts again I put my own setup in the back there and I can probably throw these all day anyway now these cost £110 uh, it is a little bit pricey for a set of darts but again um, I think these are more tight towards your collectors so if you've got the Gen 1 to 7 obviously you want the Gen 8s and you'll add these to your collection if you're treating yourself to a little gift or you want something to get them to you as a present then why not at £110 why not spoil yourself a little bit and get yourself a set of these bad boys I'll leave a link in the description box where you can purchase these so go to the description box after this video click on the link and check out these darts and check out the other darts from Target Darts while you're at it. And that's it from you guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications for any new reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy dying guys. Bye.